Hello and welcome to Technology Trends, the series that takes an enthusiastic but also critical look at how technology and digitalization are changing and affecting our lives and businesses. This episode is presented by Epicenter, Oslo's hub for digital innovation and an ecosystem for innovative companies and growth. Visit epicenteroslo.com and become a member too. It may feel like I'm on repeat, as it takes a lot for it not to be about something related to artificial intelligence these days. This time is no exception. And while there has been a lot of talk about generative artificial intelligence, and perhaps most of all about the generative pre-trained transformer led by uh, ChatGPT from OpenAI, we will now talk about generative adversarial networks. Until recently, completely unknown to me. And even though it can be translated to generative resistance networks in Norwegian, I didn't become any wiser from it, at least not at first. In short, a generative adversarial network, often abbreviated as JAN, is a type of deep learning algorithm consisting of two separate neural networks. One neural network is a generator, while the other is a discriminator. These two networks compete against each other, with the generator trying to fool the discriminator into believing that the data being regenerated, which resembles the original training data, is real. Over time, the new data becomes so realistic that it cannot be distinguished from the original and real data, such as images of your and my faces. This is precisely what GANs are often used for to generate realistic images and videos and is also the technology used for the new filter going viral on TikTok these days, namely the Bold Glamour Beauty Filter. If you're on TikTok, you've probably seen various beautiful women lately mostly saying the same thing, that they're shocked at how good the Bold Glamour Filter is and that it should be banned. And it's no wonder they're shocked, because this technology is quite different from how most filters have been made by looking at your face in 2D and then trying to map the face into what looks like a 3D model, where everything from lips, eyes, eyebrows, skin color and more are given new and often enhancing features. This approach is easy to recognize by the fact that the filter gets disrupted when you, for example, put your hand over your face. In the case of the Bold Glamour filter, a 3D-based face is not placed on the outside of your 2D face. Using machine learning and this generative adversarial network, the original data that represents your face digitally on TikTok is replaced with the new data that has been manipulated to make you look more beautiful. And this is done in real time, which is absolutely incredible and would not have been possible if our smartphones had not become as powerful as they are. The Bold Glamour filter is a real-time deep fake where the quality is so good that you won't be able to tell that it's not real. At least not unless you know what the TikTok profile actually looks like in real life. Despite how incredibly cool this is, it is also incredibly scary. And in the case of TikTok, which I believe should be banned for many reasons, including being detrimental to women's mental health, GAN technology will amplify the negative effects of being on TikTok because the bold glamour filter is just the beginning, a beginning where not only does technology enhance or expand reality, but it replaces reality, a replacement that will increase the pressure on what is considered pretty and beautiful, and that will make it difficult for those who use the technology to accept themselves as they really look when the filter is turned off. A study conducted by researchers at City University in London in 2021 that examined the social effects of filters found that 94% of female users felt pressure to look a certain way, while 90% admitted to using filters or otherwise editing their photos. It is not very controversial to assume that GAN technology will only increase the mental damage that comes from unrealistic expectations that young women, in particular, have for their appearance and their own body. In a 2017 study conducted by Cognitive Research, it was found that users did not detect that an image had been manipulated in 30-40% to of cases. With GN technology, the percentage could quickly grow to 100%, unless you know what the person actually looks like in real life. Today's beauty filters have long contributed to young girls in particular struggling with their own self-image. The Wall Street Journal revealed a few years ago that Meta was aware that more than 30% of teenage girls who used Instagram had a higher degree of anxiety and depression. Since then, 
TikTok in particular has exploded in use and popularity, and so have the filters, but none have come close to being as good as bold glamour, which is now impossible to distinguish from reality. Shall we just sit and watch as our children's mental health goes to hell on TikTok, just because we over 40 years old must acknowledge that TikTok is here to stay, as our finance minister nicely said it on TV2 in February, before admitting that he lets his two young daughter use TikTok. How bad must it be before we react?